Commodity Classification When storing a variety of materials it is necessary for you to be aware of the different classifications placed on different materials. These classifications can range from non-combustible products to products that are so highly combustible that they require special storage considerations. At Compliance First Incorporated we offer services to help you determine the classifications that apply to your products being stored at your facility. The classifications are a way to determine which materials may pose a potential fire hazard. It is also the method that is used to help workers determine how to handle which materials, including where and how they should be stored. There are different levels of classifications for your commodities that we may classify your products in. Classifications include Commodity Classification I4 and Group A, B, C Plastics Class I includes products that are not combustible and products that will not burn on their own. Thus this type of product does not require being stored near a sprinkler system if it is stored on its own. Class II commodities are products that may have packaging that is combustible. Combustible packaging includes various types of wooden crates and boxes. Other forms of packaging that would be under this class would be paperboard in any thickness. This class means that there is a slightly higher risk in the event of a fire due to its packaging, though it may not necessarily have combustible materials within that packaging. Class 3 includes items that are made of natural fibers including paper products or products made of wood. It also will be classified at this level if it is part of Group C plastics. If it is a Class 3 that means that it should not have any more than 5% of plastics categorized in Group A or Group B, as determined by weight or by its volume. Class 4 includes the various commodities within the previous three classes that have group of plastics that are stored in corrugated packaging. If there are any plastics that have been assigned a group of plastic that is included on the previous three class products then it will also be given a Class 4 designation. There are classes for different products, as mentioned, even plastics are assigned various classifications even though most people wouldn't think of plastic as a highly combustible material. These classifications are determined by their combustibility. Not only does this apply to the item itself, but it also will apply to the type of storage the product is in. For example, if a product is wrapped in plastic wrap it will likely be considered combustible, regardless of if the materials stored are considered combustible or not. Since there are many different types of classifications of commodities it is important to make sure that you have professionals to help determine which materials fall into which category. Having experts guide you make your facility a safer environment to work in and could prevent extensive damage in the event you had a fire. At Compliance First Incorporated our permit technicians will be able to work with you and determine which classifications you will likely be dealing with and help determine the best storage options.